With more than 800 O-ARM systems being used around the world and over 165 published studies describing its clinical use, you might be wondering if the O-ARM lives up to the hype. Let's do a quick by-the-numbers rundown. The O-ARM is mainly used in five departments, spinal, neurosurgery, orthopedics, maxillofacial, and ENT, with more specialties looking to adopt. Here's how it works. In a typical surgery, the O-arm captures a 3D image from the patient in 13 seconds. Next, the images are reconstructed and sent to the surgeon's navigation system in about a minute. Now you're up and ready to navigate. Plus, since the O-arm can open its gantry door, it isn't locked to one case, allowing it to be used in multiple procedures at once. But one of O-arm's most important jobs is near the end of a surgical procedure. Before closing the patient, the physician can take a 3D image to confirm their surgical goals were met. Data from the European Registry and three other observational studies suggest the opportunity to reposition misplaced hardware while the patient is on the surgical table can potentially eliminate the need for a revision procedure. That's why the O-arm is quickly being adopted for the placement of pedicle screws in spine surgery, placement of leads in deep brain stimulation surgery, and other procedures where navigation is useful. The O-arm was released in 2006, and since then, top hospitals around the world have been adding the O-arm to their arsenal, with more than 800 installed today. In the age of tighter and tighter budgets, a big reason why the O-arm is being so widely adopted is improved surgical accuracy, backed up by research. The number of clinical research papers published by physicians has also been growing at a surprising rate. In 2008, there were five published papers, but the widespread physician interest, independent from Medtronic, has boosted that number to over 165 publications today, with 32 articles published in 2014 alone. However, the most important question is, did these studies show whether surgical accuracy is improving? A meta-analysis of spinal pedicle placement surgeries showed screw placement accuracy between 95% and 100% with O-arm, compared indirectly with 84% to nearly 96% with other current practice options. And since the O-arm doesn't need daily calibration, OR renovations to level floors, or costly custom OR tables, adoption is straightforward and cost-effective. Now it's time to do the math yourself. What does increased surgical accuracy, decreased revision surgeries, and more efficient surgery time equal for you?